the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 267. Haggai 1 to 2. Haggai, remember your priorities. Although the temple reconstruction project was faced with difficulties, the people who heard Haggai pulled themselves together to start again. First point. On the 16th year, the temple reconstruction project had been on hold. God called the prophet Haggai. Prophet Haggai declared that although the Jerusalem temple was in ruins now, it would be recovered with God's glory in the days to come. In the book of Haggai, four of God's messages can be read. The first message came to him in the second year of King Darius, on the first day of the sixth month. The second came to him in the second year of King Darius, on the twenty-first day of the seventh month. The third message came to him in the second year of King Darius, on the twenty-fourth day of the ninth month. The fourth came to him on the same day as the third message. God's message contained a rebuke to the people for putting on hold the restoration of the temple. At the time, it had been 16 years since the temple restoration had been on hold. Haggai therefore told the people that the temple should have been restored a long time ago. Haggai asked how the people were able to enjoy living in their houses, despite the temple not being restored for the past 16 years. Second point, the temple reconstruction generation heard the rebuke of the prophet Haggai and restarted the temple restoration project. When the people heard Haggai's rebuke, they repented and was encouraged. When Haggai told the people God's message, the people listened. And now, God's history unraveled. The biggest change to happen was that they had the heart to listen to God. In other words, they were prepared to obey God. God told them that He would be with them. The people went hard at work to restore the temple again. Third point, the second message Haggai gave was to make oneself determined. During the second year of King Darius, the second message of God came to Haggai. This came approximately a month since restarting the temple restoration project. The reason for God's message was to console the people, as they had found out that this temple was to be smaller in scale compared to the original temple and thus were disappointed. To the people who had in mind the lavish temple built during the days of Solomon, God told them, to be strong and determined. God said this three times and gave them courage. Jerusalem at the time was indeed still a pitiful sight. It had become so desolate that the old people who remembered the glorious days lamented loudly. This, of course, made it all the more difficult for Jerubbabel and the high priest Joshua. Therefore, God gave them courage that he would be with them. Fourth point, the third message Haggai delivered was for the people to remember what it was like when they had been forced to stop building the temple and to be glad of their resumed work. Now God gave the third message to Haggai to deliver to the people of South Judah. This message came two months after giving his second message. This was to tell the people to look back on their actions and to obey God to receive His blessing. God also reminded them how they had stopped the temple reconstruction project. God furthermore reminded them of the plagues that they experienced because of it. Fifth point, the fourth message Haggai delivered 
was in line with Zerubbabel's prophecy of the coming of the Messiah. Now God gave Haggai the final message for the people. This last message was given on the same day as the third message. God told him about God's judgment, rule and salvation that was spoken through Zerubbabel as well as the coming of the Messiah. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tom Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel the healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.